ain't been up on the block in a minute. Uh, I've been missing out the walk with the minute. Uh, uh, I've been building up the blocks like a me. Uh, uh, Elliot got water dripping out the city. Uh, uh, oh my god, uh, boy, he got his glide. Uh, uh, oh my god, uh, boy, that boy on top. Uh, what up, and it's John, it's your boy IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes banger. Now, we're on the 250 KTM. I know I was on the 450 KTM last time we did a video here on Steckenberg by Hell Machine and JBDL. And um, I gotta say, I don't know what it is, but I feel like the 250 literally flows on this track way better than a 450. But that's not really what we're really here for. Um, as you can see, I'm hosting a server and um, I feel like I just got off streaming and I kind of encouraged everybody to try to join on this track so I can make a good video for it. And I was only able to get like five people, you know, five people. And I did a TikTok stream as well. And I was only able to get like 10 people on it. So maximum, that was 15 people in total throughout the whole day of a Thursday, I should say, for people wanting to actually buy this track, which it is a paid track. It's $2 on the MXB shop. So now my question is, are MX bikes, you know, paid tracks dying, you know? And that's my real question. Like, are we... Are, are paid tracks literally dying in MX bikes to where no one's really paying for tracks anymore unless it's a pro series to where it's like when we're in season when we're not in like off season is anybody really paying for these tracks anymore and all that you know because I, I know a lot of people pay for the for the aerials supercross series right now and and I gotta say I, I am one of those guys I will admit you know because at the end of the day like it's the only way you can ride for pro stuff and or amateur stuff you have to pay for their tracks so that's my question now is just like are people only here now for the pro scene to where it's like that's the only be reason for pay tracks should be on MX Bike Shop because like you're literally the only room for running for a, a exact reason I should say for like literally putting in you know trying to get something out of it you know this is just a, a regular track to where it's like it's not a bad track it looks great it's perfect I literally praised this track on my last episode I mean on my last video you know so it's just gotta go to that point to where it's like yeah it's a dub it's a dub but should it have been paid is the next question to where it's like the only reason people are paying for tracks now is just because they want to race for the pro series you know I don't really see too many people literally paying the money for tracks like this anymore you know like I feel like before a lot of paid tracks were literally being filled up to the T and now it's just like and you get stragglers that still support these these content creators that literally put out bangers don't get me wrong like i said hell machine jvdl killed this track you know what i mean like they, they literally killed this track jv kills tracks stone rider kills tracks and i'm sorry if i haven't said your name yet you kill tracks right absolutely but it's like is it the right direction for what the mx bikes community wants to see if you get what i'm saying you know and and i feel like for the most part I think the community's had enough at times, you know? You do get stragglers to where it's like, man, they have promoted enough. These guys have literally put in the equity, the support to where it's like, yeah, you know what? I'm willing to actually pay for this track and this and that. And I feel like as time goes on, I will get more people to join the server. It's just, you know, the stragglers coming in, you know, people that actually pay it, you know, on how many, what, 2,000, 3,000, maybe 4,000 people that play this game a day. We're only getting, what, six to 10 people that want to play the server is because only max maybe 100 people bought it. You got to think about that, you know? What if this track was free? You know, I, I get it. You know, money rules the world. Money definitely rules the world, and they, and they rule how things go around this world in and, and, and life. But it's like, is this the wrong motive to money rules the world, you know, to where it's like you're paying, you're making tracks paid to where they shouldn't be. And I'm not saying this track shouldn't have been paid. Like I said, I said I fully support the $2 and I think it's paid tribute. But now you're seeing that maybe two days have passed, three days have passed, and you only got three, six, six, almost like 10 people even trying to join it. It's like, are you really making a profit out of it at the, at the end of the day to where it's like you put your hard earned sweat and tears into this? Maybe there's a different approach here. Maybe creating your own series of tracks. Maybe, you know, you know, creating these tracks for free, but also putting a donation link to where it's like, hey, if you really enjoy your tracks, maybe leave a tip, you know, like, hey, thank you for your support. I don't know. I personally am coming out with the Kelso Cup series. I don't really like promoting it right now until it's fully done. But I gotta say it, man. You know, we're trying to promote free tracks in this and in, in, in the community, and I haven't really came out publicly with it until we actually fully come out publicly with the website and all that. 
but we're not we're not charging for any tracks you know we want to make the best tracks for you and we want to create a series to where it's like if you want to pay for that series cool you want to pay for the series if not no harm no foul you know we want to get back to the community the best we can but if you want to be a low risk high reward you know what I mean? You pay little as of a dollar for racing for 250s and $2 for 450s. You know, this is something that we're bringing into the game really quickly and, and hopefully to be a dub. If not, hey, it's a flop, it's a flop. But I think a lot of people have enjoyed that I've, I've brought so much, you know, giving back to the community to where it's like, where's the give back from the rest of the community of... Of, of MX bikes, you know, you you always want something from them, but when are you giving back? Yeah, maybe you give a track here and there in the beginning of the month for free, but it's nothing relevant, I should say. It's nothing relevant you're trying to give back to where it's like people are loving, you know what I mean? And I get it. Like I said, you know, money rules the world. People are trying to make that quick buck, you know, but like how quick is that quick buck going to last until people understand like i don't want to be a part associated with that i don't even want to pay for it because like i said personally in my last video of, of doing this track no one wants to ride these tracks or pay for it unless like it's part of an incentive and you're not giving no incentive to where it's like you pay for these tracks maybe you could potentially be getting something you know and that's where i kind of feel like my kelso cup will might come into effect and i'm i don't see it personally you know you know I, I should say popping off in the first round or no no not at all you know things take time but i feel like over time when i really have got the right motive and showing people that hey i want to give you more than what you're giving to me then yeah you know hey one person pays a dollar but you have the potential to win 50 25 dollars back that's a dub in my book you know you only paid a dollar for one track and you could potentially be winning 25 you just get went you know gained all your money back and then some so for you to pay for the rest of the kelso cup series so i i just think in simple things like that i think personally when i seen maybe uh you know the barber barber uh talk about it and maybe uh man i can't think of his name right now i'm a little drunk uh turley i think it's turley or something like that spencer turley he talked a little bit about pay tracks and how it's killing the game you got to really think about it man micro traction micro transactions might be killing the game and i do this with all due respect i think in equity versions or equity and and collateral stone rider jv hell machine um they create really great tracks and they've shown that they deserve this amount of respect like i said like i'm not downing on this track i'm just saying like man like i think the community is more or less fed up you know you maybe got a handful of people that would be willing to pay for this track but where's the rest of the community willing to pay for the track they want free man they're already paying 35 dollars for the game and then on top of that other tracks that they want to ride you know you got to think about the free side of the uh, uh, aspect and i feel like maybe i'm spreading too much information at this point maybe i'm spreading a little bit more more guilt than love but i personally think in my own opinion that a lot of you guys would understand that like these tracks are amazing to buy but it's like how much more clout would you think you'd be getting for a free version on top of that if you're like hey thank you guys for the support if you guys would love the support maybe a donation link i feel like a lot of people would love to be like hey could you possibly create a replica of etc cetera, etc cetera? which this was a replica this was a replica and i'm glad for the people that bought this maybe replicas or and or hard-earned money working tracks would be the paid version to where it's like hey you want an irl track cool it's gonna cost you a little bit because i really gotta dig deep you know but i feel like i rented enough let's go ahead and get a race with seven people in here right i really wanted to do a race so thank you guys for listening thank you guys for listening to a little rant but let's get active with it you know just want to say man thank you for everybody that joined and wanted to make this video with me i know it's not like a full lobby thing but i think it was just something that was unspoken that needed to be spoken a little bit more on my case i'm not disrespecting anybody but i feel like i'm respectfully saying that your needs to be a for sure change i think this track was an absolute dub that people should be playing this track uh, tremendously on servers but you don't see much i've looked all day especially when i was on tiktok live no one hosted the server because i felt like nobody wanted to pay for it even when i hosted i got maximum like i said 10 to 12 people and it's just like where's the rest of the community at for it you know where's where's the love at and i feel like hell machine and jvdl put so much time into this track to where it's like they didn't get no much they didn't get much that love back you know maybe in a in a grand scheme of things yeah maybe you got 200 300 people that that in you know downloaded it but it's like where's the rest of the community that's wanting to show that love that's like hey bro hey this was a dub you know 
but we're here racing let's see if we can at least get something crazy i will say man this track is is, is something i'm gonna really be working on the craft for a long time you guys know i love sand tracks and this is just where it's at to understand and, and fully engage in yourself into like you know better writing so let's see what we can get into man I, I probably won't stop i'll probably stop ranting and literally just try to get into the racing aspect of it but I might have more to come up with as I got my boys blazed in here man such a W team bro they they support me so much and I support them right back Dylan such good peoples bro Bailey I gotta shout out Jit for making that such a cool edit dude just a lot of peoples in there that that show me so much support and love that I gotta show it right back but I'm glad that you guys bought this track as well it shows that like you know my my part of the community a small part of the community will will get active with these tracks you know and i look freaking end it but i think it was just a, a a w and worth said opinion and or rant that i needed to get on and once again like i said i'm drunk so you know when 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 my drunk stuff comes out i don't care about speaking my mind I, I want you guys to hear it and I feel like I want to know your guys' feedback. I felt you guys gave me a lot of feedback when I talked about the ranked uh, structure that should be changed and especially when this track came out. Um, I appreciate you guys for even watching it, but like JVDL, man, like if you guys are listening, like I don't want you guys to change up on what you're doing. I think you guys should still pay, still stay with the paid side of versions. Once again, like you guys put in a lot of work. You guys put in a lot of work and I know how much it means to you. But what if you guys looked at the series side of it, where it's like maybe you created ten of these series, ten of these tracks for a series, to where it's like you were literally getting your money back because people wanted to earn a prize and or that, you know, you're making it all back and then then also at, at the same time you're giving back to the community. There's just certain things like that that I feel like people would rather pay for, knowing that they did low risk and high reward, you know. But there's no, oh man, unfortunate. There's no low risk here. You know, it's only high reward to where it's like you pay two dollars. Boom. You got seven people in here right now. I pay two dollars, right? Which is well spent 100 percent. But you only got two dollars that I paid for to where it's like you're probably never going to see this in a lot of servers and or, you know, participate for money or and or participate for a prize. I should say, you know, maybe if someone really puts it to the test and be like, hey, I'm willing to put this on a server. That's it. You know, there's no real low risk of paying for $2 and possibly getting a lot of value out of it. And I think that's where we need to, like, shave off and understand can, MX Spice is probably in the, wrong, headed in the wrong direction, continuously making paid tracks. But I'm not going to be the guy to tell you no and don't do that, you know? If you want to continue it, do it. But I know there's going to be people that's going to innovate, myself included. I don't know, man. You know what I mean? Like, if that makes any sense. If that makes any sense, and probably you guys probably even watched this far towards you're understanding what I'm saying. Probably only the nosebleed section, the real boys are going to understand what I'm talking about. But I feel like as time progresses, these videos, this 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 Kelso Cup and, and how things go forward to where tracks will be free, but series... Are what's going to be paid and i think that's going to be the way i think one thing mx simulator has over mx bikes right now is getting these tracks for free to where it's like if you don't think you can participate in the pro events amateur series you at least get it for free and you can at least practice to where it's like hey maybe down the road round six i think i practice enough i think i can participate i can i can give it a try boom you literally have created someone to where it's like they want to keep giving it at that point but you once when you hinder them to where it's like they have to pay for them to feel the scaling for them to feel the races you lost them you lost a lot of people at that point point. and i don't know man that's my own personal opinion i hope you guys don't hate me on it but man i don't know but i do appreciate you guys hearing me out i do appreciate you guys watching this video i, I felt like this track needed another touch of love i feel like not too many people are trying to race this track. Not too many people on the servers. And once again, it is a Thursday right before the weekend. Maybe you'll see more races on this track on the weekend, you know, as things happen. But I did host all these events as, you know, as school was out, as work was out. And I didn't see nobody join up, you know. So we got to think about it, you know. Is there really a pro and more, less than a con doing these pro, I mean, doing these paid tracks? And if so, you know, where is the pro and where is the con, you know? And I feel like the, the pro is definitely for sure that when we support, you know, Hell Machine, JVDL, JV, Stone Rider, and other people that I cannot mention because I don't exactly know, is because we know the collateral, know the equity, and know their worth. But when people start coming out of the wazoo talking about, oh, I deserve to be on the paid tracks program, 
it's like where were your tracks at like how much how much equity and how much collateral have you put in to show us that you deserve to be there you know like am i really gonna get my money's worth you know and that's where it really begins and i just feel like right now it's been so saturated to where there's no real competition of that so i don't know that's my own two cents um this track flows so w i'm glad that i'm still able to ride it at an okay pace being drunk and talking at the same time that's so fun i love doing that <laughs> And I thought that this track definitely deserved more recognition. It's probably the most beautiful track out right now. Probably the most tr beautiful track that we can get close to f the Unreal Engine 5. Let's go second. Yeah, second run. Second gear two. Jump over. Let's go middle. Oh man. If you guys have stuck this far, man, and uh, enjoyed my rant. And I would love to know your guys' feedback, man. I'd love to know it. But GG, thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate you, it. your boy, IBS Kelso. Pop, 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 pop,